Now on the output of this tape motor uh, out the diodes, you know, as I said, should be just one diode right there and right there. Both of those are going into this capacitor here. These are three 30,000 microfarad 60 volt caps, so this is 90,000 microfarads um, 60 volts, or actually, you know, whatever voltage you got them charged up to. So anyway, the po positive, these caps are all in parallel. 90,000 microfarad 60 volt cap bank is what this is uh, charging up, and the plus is going to plus. The negative on the cap bank is going to the positive back to the uh, input battery. That's where it's going to go. And as you're wired in parallel, the plus of the cap bank, which I have it connected at this end, is connected with that black wire directly to the plus on the battery I'm charging up. And the negative is going to the collector on that transistor right there. on that 555 setup which is powered by the input battery. Okay, so from the collector of the negative or the negative on the battery I'm charging to the collector and then the emitter goes to the negative on the cap bank. Okay, so what I did was I charged that battery up and it went for 57 minutes from 6.37 volts discharging that little light bulb right there. Uh, it took 57 minutes to go from 6.37 down to 3 volts and I know that it's not good to take the battery down that much but I'm uh, totally uh, giving it a pretty deep um, reforming process. Uh, I charged it by discharging with that circuit on the positive normally forward so that it's pushing the positive potential hitting it on the plus side and uh, over a few hours of charging I discharged it through that little light bulb and uh, after I discharged it uh, the battery settled down to 6.17 volts and it powered that little light bulb for 170 minutes compared to 57 minutes so that's more than three times as long for the same load and that's starting at a lower voltage too this time I'm going to be charging it uh, this inverted method on the, ne on the negative because if the positive on the capacitor bank is uh, through that black wire there is already connected to the plus then essentially that plus terminal um, that battery right there is acting as an extension of the dipole of this capacitor bank uh, dipole bank and so if the plus is connected it's already an extension of the dipole on the positive side which means the positive potential um, literally potential from the capacitor bank is already sitting in the battery. When I pulse it on the negative, instead of pushing it the positive side, it's sucking it on the negative side, which means the positive potential from the cap bank is already in a battery. So every time that transistor is triggered by that smaller transistor triggering the base of the bigger transistor, what happens is that the negative uh, potential from the cap bank, uh, that negative energy is slamming into the battery on the back side. Okay, any impedance or resistance it, it meets, um, it's amplified because resistance dissipates the positive potential as the positive potential is hitting a resistance, uh, dissipating it outwards. Well, at the same time, there's the negative potential moving into the resistance. And so by this uh, cap bank here getting pulsed on the negative, the any resistance or impedance that it encounters on its way into the negative battery is going to amplify the negative energy which means um, the separation of the uh, 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 creating this dipole is going to be uh, having a stronger effect which is going to be more than what's possible by just um, what's in the capacitor bank itself uh, so essentially you're going to have more charging going on in that battery right here than what's um, sitting inside this capacitor bank. So anyway, when it's uh, charged up, or when it's running, you can see um, that positive wire is basically running that 555 circuit. This white wire is coming from the uh, negative on the uh, cap bank on the output. And so 
the cat bank sitting at 5.35 right now, 4.43 on the output battery, and that's just a couple minutes um, that I had it just running, just to make sure everything was hooked up right. And so, as I give it a little turn, And so the cat bank is going to sit at about one and a third, one and a half volts above the battery that I'm charging. And uh, it'll pretty much keep that, that same distance from each other. And so um, as that cat bank is just sitting there, it's being pulsed on the negative side right into that bank or into that battery. And so um, little by little it's going to charge. It's going to be slow. You're not going to see these big voltage jumps. That's because it's a pretty large capacitance. Uh, low voltage pulses about a vo volt and a half above the uh, battery um, so it's going to be long slow and steady but once it's charged up it's going to uh, pack quite a punch as far as load powering capability and so um, pretty much his battery has uh, come back from the dead of not being able to take a charge over four and a half volts on a conventional hot current charger to um, you know powering a light bulb for uh, over 170 minutes uh, compared to 57 minutes and even before then it would only power it for about 7 minutes so from about 7 to 57 minutes to over 170 minutes and so um, on this next run here it's going to power it even longer so anyway this is just a way of using the SSG setup the simplified setup with the uh, diodes going to the plus on a capacitor negative on a capacitor going back to the positive on the input battery and so you're using that capacitor bank as a secondary battery that you're charging up. But while that's being charged, you can do whatever you want on the back side by um, hooking it through a circuit like that, a uh, discharging little uh, pulse circuit to discharge a capacitor bank to a battery that you want to charge up. If you want to charge that battery with a high capacitance uh, impulses versus the uh, spikes just coming off the diodes. So, Anyway, this is just another way to um, do it, and uh, I thought you might like to see that. So anyway, enjoy.